of the day, mood of the day, sit right down, it's the mood of the day, with Ariel. I still need to, um, you know, make a soundtrack for that. I will get to it eventually, I swear, and then it'll sound cooler, except from instead of me just singing it randomly, you know. So, great news, bovines. First of all, I'm going to do a shout out to one of our bovines. He is the, we call him the doctor, he's an extreme Doctor Who fan, and he has a management physician interview today. So I hope he gets it, he's really nervous, but it should be okay. Now, in other news, drum roll please! My dad just told, was asking me, what are we going to do for Halloween this year? I told him, I thought about it, thought about it, thought about it, thought about it, and decided that it should be a carnival. My dad loves theater. He loves all that stuff. He does, like, huge Halloween displays, and he's like, I don't know what to do. And I'm like, Dad, why haven't you done this years ago? You worked, you've worked at carnivals. You worked at Sands Village. You've done all these things at carnivals. Why don't you think to do a carnival? Oh, that's an amazing idea. Because in my head, he always has that voice. He sounds like this. I don't know why. His voice is a little deeper than mine, so I guess I talk like his. It's like, oh, that's a great idea. We should do that. What do you want to do? Well, I think that it should be a carnival freak show. You want what? That's a great idea. That's amazing. Because he likes things that are a little more tweets and scary. So I thought, huh, classic carnival freak show? Right off the train. Baby. So I'm so excited for that. And then another, th and then I just went on my, went on my, Facebook last night, da -da -da -da. and there is a post from my mom. Click, and it had, hold on, this poster on it. Do you see it? Do you see the top of this? American Horror Story just announced season four. They announced season four, they announced a part two to season three, Coven, now they're going to do a Salem, and they're going to do American Horror Story Carnival, Carnival, so they also thought about the freak show thing, so they're doing a freak show too, I know this is really creepy, I'm getting excited about freak shows this year, I don't know, like, I like weird and different things, so, I was looking at their posters for How To Tuesday, and I was trying to think, hmm, is there, you know, do they have makeups already that I can do? Because if not, I can just do another season. That's okay. So this is one of the posters I found. And I know it's not an officialized poster because it says circus on it. And the, there's, so it would say carnival on it, I think. But I'm seeing a lot of this. Which I would think would be the monkey girl. Or it could be a snake charmer. I Like, it's hard to figure out. Is this an officialized one? Like, the ones, they they say circus on the bottom, which they've been, which they already announced as their theme, but they didn't officialize it yet. So I wonder if this is just fan art or what. Like, I'm trying to decipher the fan art from everything else. It's really difficult because a lot of people have put fan art into this. But yet it looks like what American it looks like the style of American Horror Story. So it's kind of hard to decide sometimes what it is. Um, there's a lot of stuff for Coven. Coven was a great season. I still haven't finished it yet. I'm still waiting. Um, another thing I want I really want this shirt. I saw this last night, I was like, <gasps> the official American Horror Story shirt? I gotta have that. It's, like, all bloody and grotesque at the bottom, and I think it would be good for summer. Don't you guys think so? i got to figure out where to get that from. I wanted an American Horror Story shirt before that was Tate. I think that would be cool. This is the other poster for Salem. 
But see a little like like there's characters, but they weren't really like strong characters with makeup, you know? It was just people. I'm trying to find there was one that I really wanted to show you guys. Here's more Conaval one. And the ones that are there are really cool. Hold on. Let me do... The officialized. See, oh, here's more. So this is another one. And this is how I'm knowing it's old style circus and not like new style circus. Because it's got the freaks in it, definitely. Um, like it's typical cre creepy freak show. I will be expecting clowns in it. So if you're not the greatest fan of clowns, it might not be the season for you. Start with other seasons, have it grow on you first. Um, because... I know that that might be a bit much for some people, because like for me, I'm not sure if this is officialized, but that's, here's a clown, you know. For me, it's, I've gotten over my fear of clowns after going through Fright Fest and having, it's almost like I had to have a clown intervention at Fright Fest. Um, I basically, a, a clown came out to me and I had one-on-one -on -one time with that clown trying to scare me, and I found out that clowns aren't that scary after having one in your face telling you that they're going to skin you alive for about 20 minutes it doesn't seem as scary anymore you kind of get over your fears after a while there's pepper i'm trying to find a good because i feel as if people are just like making these up after seeing <clears throat> Ooh. I'm not sure if this one's real or not. I think this one is made up, but if it is, that's a really cool creature. I think that would be a fun makeup to do. Um, I'm just trying to like look up the pictures and show you guys. Because some of them are really kind of cool. Whoa. La 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 Do you remember guys ever have that feeling where you can't stand silence, like you have to fill it with something. That was one of those moments. I'm trying to find. I know there's one more officialized poster. There's one in the bathroom. There's one in the bathroom. It's black. It's right where we, where we put the brush. Alright. I see. <laughs> that was messed up to people. Um, gosh darn it, can't find it. Hmm. 
Well, if I don't find it, we're just going to have to do it from memory. Or do an American Horror Story-esque one. I don't know who you are, but you're cute. American Horror Story is what cute people are, I guess. I love American Horror Story. Alright. Here it is. I've been trying and trying to find this picture. What? Not you. See? It's got all the characters on it. And I know it might not be officialized, but I really, really like this clown character. I don't know why. So I think today we are going to attempt this clown character. Fellow dude. Okay. So when we start. Can you do one? Oh, I didn't know that was that bad. Um, um no, I don't think so. Sorry, because the rest of my head—that's the only one that's not so girly. Unless you'd be wearing that pink one in there too. Ooh. Yeah. Exactly. That's why I said it was that one. Well, da 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 da. All right. Let us get ready for this here. For a clown makeup, okay. So remember how I always tell you guys to go down? In a clown makeup, you want to make sure you don't. You want, and sometimes I almost, to more exaggerate it more, I go like this and leave out all of this, my natural skin color, or whiten it. So in that way it really stands out. You do the opposite color that you do there. So if for normal clown makeup, if this is all white, sometimes I'll add tan here or bronze this to make my face more stand out. Because a clown's makeup is usually in their face. And in this clown's makeup, I'm trying to, th I wouldn't think he would be white, actually. I need a new sponge. Where's my other sponge? Sponge, where are you? Great, I can't find another sponge. I'm sorry. Okay. <clears throat> so for this one, I almost think that he would have this. I hate how you guys can't like really see it all. Focus camera. Okay. So I use I'm using a darker brown. I'm using like darker colors than my skin tone, and I'm gonna add white to it. So then that way it looks like a clown, but looks like not your normal clown, you know? It's gonna look a little off. My dog is being annoying. Everybody is just interesting today, I guess. And if you don't blend it out, that's okay, because we're gonna so much stuff to it that it doesn't matter. And I have a really big pimple right on the end of my chin, which makes it angry. Uh, there's gonna be so much makeup. Let's see it. Okay, so, aw, I hit pan already. Look, look, look. Ugh, I'm right at this camera. I'm just like, apparently, it just doesn't want to show you. Okay. This one hit pan. Yeah, that's like my favorite one, so it kind of stinks. Means I'll need to buy more. Or get someone else to buy me more. What's the other? Because that one's really good. I like stage makeup because it covers a bit more. I feel like it does a better job. I need my mirror. Where did that get? Hmm. Uh, that's interesting. Okay. Because otherwise, when I look in this, it goes the opposite way, so it like messes me up here. Just a little. Same time. Okay. Now, I really need that mirror. Here it is. Because I always have my mirror in back of you guys, so that way I can see myself when I do this. And I apparently took it out, so. There, now, I'm, now I feel a little better, because otherwise it's hard to do this with looking at the opposite of myself, basically. Alright, now I'm going to add white to it. Just a few on this. I'm going to add a little bit of white to this. 
So now you guys can see that. You see how like I'm whitening in weird areas? Okay. Or you can do the opposite of what I'm doing. And because this character seems like he's not like white, you know? But if you want to do the opposite of what, of what I'm doing and like the patches of white, what you can actually do is make it so, so, so paper white. And that'll also give you a different look too. Well, clowns, you can do so much. I'm sorry to whoever is a huge American Horror Story fan is also afraid of clowns because I've been afraid of clowns for years. My grandmother had us watch it at a very young age and that kind of brought it out, but now that I've seen clowns more, I'm not as afraid. My little brother's getting out of the fear of clowns too a little bit, so it helps us a little. So if you can, I don't think you guys can see. Alright, now you can see a little better. So this part is like, so this part up here is like really white and this part down here is really white. So then you just blend out that whiteness basically. I'm trying not to get my hair in. And with your hair the crazier the better. Like, if you guys want to really know what I do to my hair to make it this crazy and weird, is I sleep with it, I put it in a bun, and I sleep in it, and then I let it down, and then I spray it and gel it and just crunch it, and then, like, shake my head a lot, and it comes into this, like, mess of volume. So that's what I do, because I want to look, like, crazy and messy, apparently. And if your allergies are bothering you, then you try to find a tissue. But, uh -uh. Uh -oh. about that but if my nose is running and I'm trying to do makeup it makes it very difficult very difficult indeed okay so you see how there's just patches of white so if I had a lot more time which would make this a really long video but if I had more time I would actually take some brown and add above the white and blend that in so it makes it look like I was burned so it looks like really messed up because you're draw you you're doing a messed up dude like he's really a messed up character so it's okay or like I would do like burn like to make it look like it was burned you know and you want to do just slightly a bit of brown because brown because these browns they're like really stand out and it's okay if this is still a little streaky because you can just blend it out later do the rest of your makeup. Um, but yeah, so you guys can see it better without the glare. I know there's a big glare here, but you know, no, there's enough on my cheeks to show. Um, so now that you guys can see it looks burned. At least in my. looks a little more like it's burned. Like his skin is burned itself. And then you can add, like, and then usually I'd add, like, a bit more to my. Because people usually look in, your, in the eyes, so it's good to add things to your eyebrows. Because some people don't, a lot of people don't actually look at you directly in the eyes, they look you at your eyebrows. So if you've burned something there, it really will stand out. Because you see how I look all burned now. So I'm trying to like delete the shadow. I'm getting suckered for studio videos. It's like in makeup videos, it actually does matter exactly where. You guys can see. Okay, so you guys can see me put this on, and then it like disappears in the makeup. Okay. Let's see, I think this is this window. We're getting like a giant glare there. This side, that's because I feel like this is that window really. But I needed more light. You guys see? Okay, let me put my head away from you. I guess that didn't help. But you guys can see that it looks like burned. A little grotesque, a little, um, look, so, it's burned, um, for other makeup, you can either do extreme, or you can do not at all, basically, 
And so if you're going to do it extreme, you have to go really, really big. But if you're not going to do it like hardly at all, then you have to do then you have to do that. You need to like you do one or the other. You can't do a halfway thing. It just doesn't work. So a lot of clowns have bright, bright, bright colors. So I don't have the color I want, but if I was to do this, because I don't use reds usually, um, I have red, like I have a cream red, but I wanted to use um, a powder red. It makes it a little easier. So, oh, so since most clowns that like you see in the circus have like those, or the older clowns have like the bright, bright, bright makeup. Since you're doing a darker, darker clown, you want dark, dark makeup. So instead of using that bright, bright, bright color, I'm actually going to use this deep purple and a deeper blue. So it's like the colors they used, but not right. So add that all in the socket of my eye and below. So that I just outlines it a little. So you guys can see that. It's like the up and the low and the low. Make sure you just like round out your eye and the color. So that looks like it's like, and you need to do a zombie seep deprivation, as I call them, um, with whatever color you're using. You have to make sure you do it to where, like sometimes I'll scrunch up my face and then put on the makeup so that way it looks like you've had no sleep. And I will actually darken that with other makeup later. Um, that's very important in like makeups like this. I'm a fun guy. This is my favorite type of video actually. So scrunch up your eye and do all that stuff. And another thing I tell people that are not used to special effects makeups, or if they're doing a Halloween makeup, to forget everything that you've learned in makeup school. Like if you went to makeup school and if you're like a make like an esthetician and all that, you forget everything you learned because it is not because you learned the opposite in theater school. Like if your makeup doesn't match, that's okay. If if they tell you to use eyeshadow on your eyes, you might need that eyeshadow color. It's just a color. If you need that bright, bright green and find some way to apply it to your lips, then do it. That's what I would say. Because always we learn, like, all these, like, definite things. Like, you have to do this this way. And in theater, you don't do that that way. You do it, like, the opposite way if you can. It's always, there's always some way to do something cool, you know. I have black brush somewhere. Alright. So... And then I'm going to take this green so it stands out a little more. And I'm going to do the lines. You guys know what I'm talking about. Like, you know how the clown has like creepy lines. I'm going to give you like a diamond shape eye, but I'm just going to do like. Like, what's his name? The mind freak guy. You know what I'm talking about. But Chris, I think his name is Chris something. Chris the freak. Who knows who his name is? I'm going to talk and so, because you know how they always have like that something on their eye, like a star or a heart or something. I have another makeup look. I'll show you guys where I do. Another creepy clown. I have more clowns in my thing now. Alright. And again, if it's not even, it's okay. It's so in pleasure. I got to see you. It's like dark inside. So we look darker now. We look muddy, we look gross. So what actually I'm going to do now close up eye kit. And I'm gonna actually gonna add some more white to some areas that like, doesn't need it. And I need to brush these, wash these. I'm sorry guys, these are washed. They're all pretty. I'm gonna put it by my nose. Because you want to make it look like you still were a clown at some... Like, you want to look like you were still that old style clown at some time. You just went insane. Not like that you were always insane, you know. Because otherwise it looks just like you put on a mask, basically. I want it to look like I used to be, you know, that cute, pretty clown. And now I've just turned into this. So 
that's pretty cool the freak show that's pretty much what it is so if you see now I've got white there to apply now you guys can really see what I did oh my gosh so you see the white is only on one side it's just because I'm really really white on the other side so I'm just gonna use some of my regular blend that out so that side looks darker than this side it still looks like for you guys like I swear there's a bunch of stuff here and it looks like totally different in the mirror so I don't know what to tell you see when you turn like this you can see that it's like white here and then right there or whatever I'm gonna try not to mix my colors too much in the palette actually that's what I'm trying to do really hard and when you close your eyes if there wasn't such copyright issues going on right now I would totally play some like creeper music for you guys right now I think we need some freaks right now like that's the song that's playing in my head I think that anytime you do creepy makeup you need creepy music to get you in the mood that's what I do when I design these I use, I like play music because it's usually creepy stuff so here we go it works and then for the rest of this you sponge it up you don't actually end it or start it so, so there's that one part that's white I think I'm going to do another makeup where it's another um, misled clown where it's actually half and half, half clown, half half dark clown, half regular clown. I think that would be cool, but this is more along the lines of the clown we saw in that picture. So I thought that would be cool for all of you American Horror Story fans. Um, so you've got the darkened eyes. You probably need a little bit more to do with the eyes, if you know what I mean burn because I feel as if we didn't really do much with them um, still reaching for those darker palettes we're actually going to take a blackest black this is my Sephora palette in case any of you are wondering the colors I'm using it doesn't really matter as long as you have a color similar really so I'm going to shade in these dark spots Again, if these lines didn't mess up, I don't know they're clear, you to just draw a line on your face. It may really matter that much. And then you're going to blend it out here. And if you really want to, you can reapply those lines again to make them look, to make them pop out a little more. It doesn't really matter if you make them pop out or not, really. Actually, I'm going to make it really creepy. I'm going to take actually a yellow tone and then redo the line. I'm gonna go above my eye. Like, and you can make the lines go as long as you want. You can go on through the through your chair face if you want to. This is making me think of other clown makeup. And don't make them even. Please do not make your face even. It drives me nuts when makeup artists make their face even in a special effects makeup, unless it's a a definite character into where that happens. If it's a creepy makeup like this, if you make your face look exactly even, it'll just look bad, in my opinion. Um, because then you kind of ruin the character design. Like, I always get, you know, stuff about not making my makeup completely even. But in this, in the characters I do, it doesn't matter if it's even or not. So, I guess this one matters a little more. If you want to, you can make more than one line, like I'm starting to do on accident, actually. You just drag them all down. If I had blood with me right now, it's not quite Halloween time, so I um, so I lost my supply of blood last year. It actually got eaten by one of my friend's dogs, believe it or not. Um, so if you had blood, I would drip it here and just let it drip down on this one side. One side. If you want to go crazy and do both sides, you can, but I don't, I don't know. Sorry. Feel crazy there. All right, so lean back so you can see my work. Um, and then you should probably start thinking about the lips, because you know how people do the lips. They're very important to a lot of people. If you want to know a quick way. I'm just taking some Vaseline Cocoa Radiance. It's actually really good for your skin. And I put like 
This is actually the stuff I use on my face, believe it or not. I know you're not supposed to use a lotion, and blah, 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 but it really works for me because my skin gets really, really dry sometimes. And I actually sometimes will add a little bit to my lips because it makes them, like, all nice and pretty and stuff. Um, so, let us see for lip color. Usually when I do a lip color that is not originally a lip color, because you can use anything for a lip color, don't let anyone fool you. I put like gloss on my lips so that they get really sticky. Since something horrific happened to my crayon glasses, I need to find another container to put them in basically. I need little containers like this, Bovinians, and then I can teach you. So make sure they're nice and sticky, because otherwise the color will not stick. And then you find a pigment that you like. So for a deranged clown, instead of having the pretty, pretty, you know, reds and pinks, I'm actually going to use a darker pink. Believe it or not, that actually sounds normal. What I do with it will not be. And I know I'm using a brush for it. I can just wash the brush later. Because you are supposed to wash your brushes after... You're supposed to wash your brushes every time. And that doesn't happen with me, but... Why is your color get all muddy? That's not good. Yeah. Alright. I'm going to use my finger. I just use your, use your finger so that I can glide it on the way you want it. This isn't get a little bit of access above it so it looks like you yourself did it. You don't want to make it look like this was done like years ago. You want to look like it got done this year and got any insane. Because what clown keeps their makeup like every single time? It doesn't, their makeup doesn't stay like that. He, someone has to go and do that for them. Um, and no, clowns don't actually do their makeup, I don't think either. Cause in case you're really wondering. Um, clowns do not do their makeup. Someone else does it for them, and they take hours in makeup, but, you know, depending on the person, but, you know, that's how it goes. So, look at my face, see how it's, like, all, you know, messed up. If, I, again, if I had the blood, I could put some blood by my lips, or around my lips, and depending on what kind of creature you would like. I'm trying to think of what else they have. They have the stuff on the cheeks, but I would leave the cheeks alone because you just did all that beautiful burn work on it. So you can see my face. See it? Do you see it? It's like hard because like the picture keeps doing. Okay, that's better. You see how it looks like browned and burned and stuff? So after doing all that browning and, bur and, and burning and all that, which you can even do more, so then that way it really distracts away from the white and makes it look like really pop, makes it really pop. Um... So, that would be good. And then when you're to the point where you're doing your hair, you can either get a, get a wig, or I would just do this. If you did what I did earlier, or if you have naturally curly hair, make sure that there's a lot of gunk in it. Whether it's hairspray, gel, I do whatever. Like, I just want it to be, like, hard and messed up a little. Because I'm, I'm a hardcore messed up person, apparently, so... The fact that I actually go out my house like this on a regular basis is kind of bad, but you know. And a lot of people can't get me to the point where I can't sleep at night with their characters because I do so many of them, I've gotten used to them over time, but congratulations to Pink Stylist and um, Mr. Creepy Pasta because with one of their characters, they actually got me to the point where I cannot sleep. So if my eyes like literally look like this, that is why. So you look kind of more insane and crazy with this hair, like you want it to be in blobs and you want it to look like this. Actually, my hair looks pretty nice. Not insane. What can I say? 
So it, and you got loops and bubbles in that. That's okay because you want to make it like they don't no longer care about their appearance as much. All right. So, and if you look, no, this is not the shirt I would be wearing. This is actually the shirt I wore yesterday. But you don't use when you put on like heavy makeup like this. It sometimes will fall into your clothing. So you never put on costume or whatever you would put on until afterwards. Okay. So warn you. So this is the look that was based off of that one poster. I don't know if it's a real poster or not. I hope so because I really like that dude. Um, I think he looks really cool. It's like almost a mixture of every clown I've ever known gone bad. Um, which is cool. I like that. Um, so I know this is a long video again. I'm sorry. I keep making long videos. But it makes it hard when you guys request or when I see something really, really cool and I want to talk about it and, you know, do makeup for it and everything. It makes it really, really hard to put it in one concise video. So I'm sorry. I will leave you guys now with your woo of the day and my creepiness. Bye!